Hello my dreamers and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nancy. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video is going to be the end of the year favorites. I am so happy to be doing this video because I get to reflect on the products that I've been really enjoying for 2019. And we already know 2020 is here and so many new launches. This makeup world is just constantly going. So yeah, it's crazy. But I'm excited to dive into some of the products that I have been using religiously. It's just some of my holy grails that I'm using on to 2020. So if you're interested in seeing some of my top end of the year favorites, then please keep on watching. Okay, I want to go in with non-makeup products first and start off with this bad boy right here. This is a waiver, I guess. Um, it's from the brand Pretty Queen. I actually got this off of Amazon. My sister actually bought this and I really like how her ways look and i have really wanted to do that like that to my hair and i have been rocking this hairstyle so it's really affordable as well and it gives me these like crimpy vibes and i'm just really digging it so i've been wearing it a lot <laughs> um so yeah i really do like it and i think everybody should have like a waiver or a crimper because it just totally transformed the look and it's very very pretty just look on amazon i'm pretty sure amazon has like a lot a lot on their website but you know i just purchased this one because my sister bought it and you know she said that it was good so i took her words on it and i bought one all right so next up we have skincare products um, this next one is from Vanilla Co. This is a Korean brand. This is the Clean It Zero Foam Cleanser. It's a whip gel cream transformed into rich and moisturizing foam. Cleanses and refreshes skin for all skin types. So I'm like halfway here already. So I have to go get a new one soon. I really do love this cleanser so much. It just, just makes my skin squeaky clean. It just smooths my skin. It makes it so supple. And yeah, it just really helps keep my skin so fresh. Um, I also have to give credit to this product here as well. I currently don't have it, of course, because um, I bought this one after I finished using it. But I really feel like the Clavu cleanser really like helped clear up my skin so well. And it just helps keep pimples and acne away. I still have acne scars, which is a thing of its own. But I really do think that this cleanser along with this new one that I just discovered are like so so good I feel like my skin is seriously the best it's ever been yes of course I still experience texture I still experience a little bit of acne scars but I don't really have acne breakouts anymore I don't really have pimples anymore like all of those are just gone after I've been really like you know investing in my skincare and really just focusing on you know clearing up my skin so i highly recommend these two products um i did purchase them both from soko glam so if you guys are interested and in wanting to experience some um, korean skincare then definitely go on to soko glam they have a lot a lot of good products there and yeah just keep trying them out and you'll soon discover different things i really highly recommend soko glam and i really highly recommend these two cleansers um, they are seriously the best purchases that I got. Moving on to makeup products. I am going in the order of how I do my makeup. So I'm going to start off with the eyes. I'm pretty sure you guys are all familiar with this. This is the P. Louise base for eyeshadow. This is the shade Rumor 02. I've got to say that this is definitely worth the hype. I know this is like a UK product, but Morphe Brushes is currently... Um, selling this product as well so you can always purchase it there it's not too expensive i think it's like i believe it's like 12 dollars it is pretty big so i have been using it for like what let's see i bought it in like october um so i use it all october november december is january now and it's still full and i use a lot of it i just use it for my eyeshadow now like i don't even use anything else i don't even use concealer i don't even use the anastasia one anymore um so yeah i go with this one because i really feel like it really just gives you that nice blank canvas and you don't really need to wait for it to dry um like the anastasia one oh my god i had a hair on my face the Anastasia one, I feel like you have to like wait for it to dry a little bit. But you know, sometimes you don't have all the time in the world to wait for that to dry. So I feel like you can immediately put a shadow on this base and it'll just give you that nice pop of color. And this is what I have on my eyes. And I, I use the base for this. And yeah, I think it's definitely worth the hype. And everybody 
should give it a try. The top palettes of the year for me are obviously Anastasia. I love Anastasia so, so much because they just have like the best pigmentation. They have the best color schemes. They just have the best everything, okay? So I'm a huge collector of Anastasia and I love collecting their products. Um, so I also have the Norvina one. So this is the only one I have of Norvina. She came out with two other palettes, but um, they're quite pricey. These ones are actually $60. So <laughs> I have made a dedicated video for this one along with the Jackie Ina one. Um, I do have the Carly Bible one, which, ah! oh my God. But yeah, I really do like this color scheme a lot. You could just create so many different varieties. Of colors with this like I said I also made a dedicated video with the Jackie I know one of course beautiful shades beautiful colors definitely check out my video for this because I created two bomb ass looks with this very very pretty and of course I have the Carly Bible for Christmas my girlfriend bought it for me so I haven't done a video on it but I do have it on my eyes along with a little some some on top of it but yeah, I, nothing can go wrong with Anastasia palettes. Um, also have on my eyes are these Artist Couture um, <clears throat> Diamond Lights Finisher. I think I mentioned them before in a favorites video. Um, but yeah, they are pretty pretty like glitters that you can just put all over your eyes and it just creates a very nice look. Like I said, I didn't put this one is in golden hour all over my um, lid right here. So I just feel like it just gives it a big old pop. I also have the spotlight glitz. I have a tinier version of this one. Um, and yeah, it came with like a value set that I bought. So I'm so glad it wasn't the same one I already have. I did own this other beautiful color called Nebula, but it got stolen sadly. So I would have to go repurchase that, but it's like such a nice like purpley blue shade. It's just a very, very pretty topper that you can add on to your eyeshadows. Moving on to face. Um, I have two concealers that I have been wearing a lot, a lot. The one that I currently have on my skin is the Dior Forever Skin Glow. I love this so, so much. I'm like almost done with this foundation. It is so pretty on the skin, as you can see on my face. It just has that really nice glow. It has like a medium to full coverage. Very, very pretty, just so smooth on the skin when you apply it on. It's not cakey or anything. I wore this all throughout my Korea trip. I wore it every day whenever I go out. I do try to interchange it sometimes, but whenever I need to go a go-to, I always rely on this, but now I'm running out and it's so pricey. Uh, and it just breaks my heart. And it also has an SPF of 35, especially if you don't really invest in sunscreen like I do. I think it's really good to have, um, you know, sunscreen in your foundation. It protect your um, face from the sun. Um, it's just so many good things to say about this. I just love it so much more than the Dior Forever. Um, but then uh, my recent discovery was the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. Such a full coverage foundation, but still has that nice, smooth, pretty canvas. Um, I do realize that as I go throughout the day, it does kind of give me like a little bit of cakiness, maybe because, you know, it's kind of thick because it needs, you know, to really have that nice full coverage. But other than that, I think I love the beautiful finish of it. And, you know, you can still go on for a while with this foundation and it will not look bad at all. It's just such a full coverage. And if you're on a budget, and then definitely you need to purchase the Milani. I don't know why I've been sleepy on it. For a concealer, I want to mention one that I've been loving. Of course, the Born This Way multi-use multi sculpting concealer. It is my holy grail, you know, concealer. Um, as you can see, I'm running out here really, really low, but I haven't been using this a lot. And I've been using this one a lot. And this is what I have on my skin. This is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. I have been using it like crazy. It is perfect coverage. It is perfect brightening. It's just a very good affordable concealer. So if you guys are on the lookout for a good concealer that's, you know, cheap, then definitely check out this e.l.f. camo concealer. I am almost done with this. Let's go on real quickly to the face and then we are going to the lips and that is all that I have for blush i have two blushes that i just love 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 of course the newest one is the ambient lighting blush quad ghost from hourglass very very pretty i just love these two shades so so much 
that's why I have on my skin here. Yeah, I just love this as you can see. Like I just use this so religiously. Oh my god. Hourglass just does not fail with their products. You know, it is definitely on the more pricier side, but they really do um, invest time. I just want to make sure the products are like top quality products. Along with this Buxom blush, this is the Wonderlust Primer Infused Blush. This is in the shade Seychelles. Definitely a favorite as well as you can see. I've dipped in my brushes. I feel like this one also gives me that nice sheer blush. Um, but at the same time, it's like once you put the product on, it's not hard to blend out or anything. I definitely check out these Buxom ones. I know they also have like other colors that I really do need to try out. So yeah, so far I'm really enjoying these two. Okay, for highlighters, I have a palette and I have just a single one. So let's talk about the single one first. Oh, if you watch my videos, I've used this cookie highlighter from Benefit so, so much. Look at this, like it's just blinding. So, so pretty, pearly shade. If you're looking for like an out of the world highlighter, then this is definitely for you. And then I also have this glaze palette from Laura Lee Los Angeles. This is the glaze lick kit and she just recently came out with this highlighter palette. Oh, I am in love. I currently have diamonds and glow gal on my cheeks right now. Um, and it's just so pretty. Obviously, I'm not dipped into these two yet, but I just really love the formula. I think it's really pigmented. One swipe and you already have this nice, beautiful um, highlighter on your skin. So definitely check out her products. She has some really, really good products, which I'm also gonna be mentioning her lipsticks right now as well. Um, all three of her lipsticks I am just in love with. I currently do have one of them on my lips right now, and it is Cabana. It's like the nude color. So that's what I have on the lips. And then this bright red corally lipstick I wore on Christmas. Um, it's just such a nice, beautiful corally red. Very, very beautiful. And there's this pinky tone one that's also very beautiful. I love the way it applies on the lips. It's not drying at all, very comfortable to wear. Also smells like the green sour apple candies. It just has a nice um, smell to it. And I do own her other lipsticks as well. Another nude lipstick is the Natasha Denona. I need a nude lipstick in the shade Michelle. Love this. Also a very beautiful brownie nude on the lips. I'm just, my obsession with nudes is so real. Nude just like matches everything. And this formula is so good. I do wear it around a lot. And then the last one is from this Korean brand called 3CE. This is the soft lip lacquer, beautiful like orangey red tone look. I did post a video um, using this lipstick on my Korean makeup video so that's the most recent video that i had on so definitely check that out you guys can see the color so so pretty like a nice beautiful orange tone red um and this is in the shade tawny red and i bought this from, from korea and i didn't want to purchase more colors but i never got the chance to i also wore it in korea and wore it all day i ate with it and it was still on my lips i only reapplied once and yeah it's just so so pretty i wish i could get more um i did purchase this other lipstick of yours is also 3ce um yeah it's like a nice uh pinky tone um i haven't really worn it that much so i didn't really want to put it on here but um i did love this one and when i wore it like two days when i was in korea i'm like I love it so so much this concludes my end of the year favorites i really hope you guys enjoy this video and i hope you guys pick up some of these products if you have not and yeah that is all that i have uh, let me know if you guys have any questions below if you guys have any favorites that i should try out please let me know in the comments below i would love to check it out um and yeah before you leave don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can be a part of my little family here on youtube and that is all that i have i'll see you guys on my next video bye